Keeping computers safe is a tricky business. That's why the cybersecurity market pulls in more than $100 billion every year. But it seems that no matter how hard companies try, there's always a way in. And with hackers creating cyber weapons more and more dangerous every day, now is a good time to remind ourselves just how risky the internet is. So stay tuned as we count down the top 10 most dangerous cyber weapons of all time. But first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on so that you never miss a video. Number 10. Zeus People who are charged with illegal online activity often claim that it wasn't them. And this next cyber weapon proves that sometimes they weren't lying. Zeus is a Trojan horse malware that has become the largest botnet on the internet. It is so stealthy that even reliable antivirus software says they can't always stop infection. And once your machine is infected, it's hard to know exactly what it's up to. It can gain access to passwords, logins, and other valuable information. Using this information, hackers then transfer money out of bank accounts and run off with the cash. So far, over 100 people have been arrested in connection with Zeus and have stolen more than $70 million. Number 9. NASA More than 50 years ago, NASA landed a man on the moon. And as one of the global leaders in technology and innovation, you'd think that they have everything pretty secure, right? It might have been, but it only took a 15-year-old prodigy to break down their defenses. In 1999, a kid from Florida named Jonathan James hacked a bunch of high-profile institutions. These included telecom giant AT&T and later NASA. By accessing and compromising vulnerable servers, James was able to eventually gain control of key parts of the International Space Station. Even more dangerously, that year he went on to hack into the Defense Threat Reduction Agency which is a big part of the U.S. Department of Defense. This one may have been a step too far, as within a few months, he had federal agents knocking down his door and arresting him. Number 8. Petya, not Petya. Ukraine might be in the news right now for its war with Russia, but back in 2017, they were fighting a different war. They were the target of a massive cyber attack referred to as not Petya which was a variant of an earlier ransomware called Petya. It was spread to computers all over Europe in France, Germany, Poland, and the United Kingdom. But the majority of the infections were in Ukraine, through a tax-related program that was installed in many of the big companies. Who was behind the attack? Most people believe that the Russian government or a Russian-backed hacking group is responsible. Plus, it happened a day before Ukraine's Constitution Day. In total, NotPetya is thought to have cost companies around $670 million. Number 7. Stuxnet These days, a lot of malware takes place online, and one thing that many countries have been worried about is Iran's plans to develop nuclear weapons. That's why the United States and Israel built Stuxnet. Its main purpose was to gain control of centrifuges that are used for creating nuclear materials. After gaining control, it would then make them spin more quickly than they were designed for and destroy themselves. In 2010, the cyber weapon was aimed at a uranium enrichment facility in Iran, which massively reduced the production of the site. When the dust had settled, apparently around 20% of Iran's centrifuges had been destroyed. That's not bad for a few lines of code. Number 6. Mirai Do you have a lot of devices at home connected to the internet? A TV? Speakers? Well, beware! Back in 2016, malware by the name of Mirai began spreading over hundreds of thousands of devices. But it wasn't just computers or mobile devices. This attack targeted home routers, security systems, and even cameras. The malware identified networks that were using default settings and had simple passwords. It also used these devices to launch distributed denial of service, better known as DDoS attacks. But it's not just personal networks that are being targeted. 
In 2018, a Mirai variant was discovered that aims at cryptocurrency mining operations. Number 5. Dark Hotel Ever get that feeling that somebody's watching you? If you are staying in a hotel, they might be. Dark Hotel is the name of spyware that has been attacking hotel networks since at least 2014. The program tries to gain access to devices through the Wi-Fi and servers of hotels. Attackers can then get access to sensitive information of guests at the hotel. This includes passwords, account information, and, if they are on a business trip, could even be company secrets. So, next time you check into a hotel, make sure that the network is secure. Number 4. Cybervore Russian hackers are some of the best in the world. They seem to be able to attack governments, companies, and people at will. Back in 2014, the IT firm Hold Security announced some pretty shocking numbers. They estimated that more than 1 billion logins and passwords had been stolen by the Russian hacking group Cybervore. That's one-eighth of the world's population. How did they do it? Using programmed botnets that would test websites for weaknesses to access sensitive information. Number 3. Wanna Cry As the name suggests, this one made those who were infected desperately vulnerable. It was ransomware that infected more than 300,000 computers and shut down entire companies. The way it worked was to encrypt all the data on a computer before demanding payment in Bitcoin to unlock it. And even worse, it spread itself through networks to infect as many devices as possible. It used an exploit developed by the NSA that was leaked by the hacking group The Shadow Brokers. On the 12th of May 2017, it was unleashed on the world. Luckily, a kill switch was discovered a few hours after the attack began and stopped computers from spreading it more. But the damage was done. One of the victims was the UK's National Health Service, which cost them more than $100 million. Globally, the estimated cost of WannaCry is $4 billion. In 2018, a North Korean programmer was charged with a number of attacks, including WannaCry. He was part of a government-backed group, Lazarus Group. Number 2. Code Red If you were infected by the Code Red computer worm in 2001, you would have received a peculiar message on your screen. It was a window that displayed the words, Hacked by Chinese. But it was more than just a message. The worm overloaded victims' computers, used them for DDoS attacks, and also opened up ways for hackers to control the machine. Lost revenue for businesses and organizations added up to an estimated $2 billion in lost productivity. Number 1. I Love You Number 1 on this list may be the most destructive virus of all time. It infected around 10% of the computers on Earth and inflicted $10 billion of damage. The virus gets its name from the subject line of the email that contained the virus. If somebody sent you a message saying, I love you, it's natural to want to see what's inside. Especially way back in 2000 before we were trained in computer safety. But if you were one of the millions of people that opened the message, you were in for a nasty surprise. First, it would resend the email to everyone in your address book. But then, it would overwrite files and wreak havoc on your computer. It caused almost $9 billion of damage, and IT departments all over the world had to spend time cleaning up the mess. A 22-year-old programming student by the name of Onel de Guzman was found to be the one of two Filipino men responsible. But since there were no laws against it in the country, he was released without charge. Which weapon do you find the scariest from the list? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video and want more, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.